and welcome to Ocean Photographer of the Year 2022. I'm Lizzie Daly and I'm delighted once again to be joined by editor of Oceanographic Magazine, Nanu Steinhoff, for the third instalment of our Winners Film Week. So far this week, we've announced the winners of the Ocean Wildlife and Fine Art Photographer of the Year Awards. And if you want to catch up on those and check out the rest of the finalists, head over to the Ocean Photographer of the Year Instagram channel or to the Oceanographic Magazine website, details for which are on your screen now. For today's episode you can find us here on the beautiful Dirk Hartog Island now home to the 1616 reintroduction project which seeks to protect and restore its native wildlife. So what better place to host not one but two ocean conservation awards. So Nane, we're doing things a little bit differently this year. Obviously last year's conservation award was won by a photographer who captured that harrowing image of a moray eel in fishing line. But you split this year, haven't you, into impact and hope. Why is that? Last year we had so many entries that naturally fell into two camps. So there were images that kind of portrayed conservation from a negative aspect. The impacts that humans have on marine life and species, and then obviously there could be positive conservation angles as well. So we wanted to really foster that and bring that across in those two new categories. It's a brilliant way of looking at general conservation. So let's jump straight into it. Here are the runners up for impact. In third place is Dimitri Koch with this unbelievable capture of two polar bears in an abandoned house in Russia. This one really caught my eye, not, not just because it's polar bears in an abandoned house, but the, the mood of it. There's so much more to this picture, isn't there? I think the composition is really special. That's what the judges liked about it. You know, you get these muted colours. You've got the two polar bears just looking at the photographer. I don't know how he even captured that. You know, one is just hanging out of the window somehow. Yeah. The other one is just directed gazing at the camera. And I think the underlying conservation story here is the two territories kind of overlap of humans and polar bears. But to have it yeah. in this way and kind of presented so dramatically and impactfully, if you like, is, is really special. Yeah, and it also tells the story of them taking back their natural territory. It, it's a really, really gripping image. So congratulations to you, Dimitri. In second place is Rafael Fernandez Caballero with this shocking image of a dead sperm whale on the beach. Nane, shocking is the word for this one, right? This is an impact category and this photo does just that. Tell us more about the story. The judges especially like this image because it's, it shows conservation from its most gripping and graphic angle. So you've got the entanglement on the tail, you know, you've got this massive amount of blood on the right hand side, which I've never seen like this before. Normally when we see a dead whale, in the ocean you know it's sanitized by the salt water and you don't normally see any blood and yeah i think it's a really shocking image that kind of makes you rethink some things and makes you ask questions what exactly happened really shocking image but really good that it made second place in the impact category but the winner of the impact award for ocean conservation photographer of the year is simon lorenz with this image of a turtle caught in fishing nets Nane, this is so, so strong, this image. You've got not only the huge weight of that fishing net, but an alive turtle still, luckily, and a whole story with it. Tell us more about it. Yeah, this image really perfectly embodies the ghost net problem that we have and uh, the problem about entangled turtles. You know, we've got this very alive turtle just dragging this huge bundle of nets. One of our judges, Sean Heinrichs, he, he summed it up quite perfectly. He said, you know, the, the impact of this image is so big because the turtle is still alive and you can see the struggle in his eyes. Yeah, huge congratulations to you, Simon Lorenz. We caught up with Simon, as always, to tell us some more about the winning image. I was always a photographer above water and animals were always something interesting but you rarely get close. So once I was scuba diving, I immediately had this like desire to, to, to bring that, what I saw out and show it to people. I run Insider Divers, a travel company. So we go out really far, sometimes 40 miles offshore, trying to find in this particular situation with blue whales and sperm whales. And, um, there's a lot of nothingness out there. So we look and stare at the horizon um, and people are starting to get a little bit 
you know, it's if so uh, generally anything that we find, we jump in on. So I always look for floating islands because there's so much life. But in this particular one, which was a very big uh, ghost net mass, I saw that there was a turtle flapping on the surface. You could see you know, it was flapping. Uh, I jumped in and so you can see the turtle in there almost as if it was set up. She's like, the, the net fits perfectly over the carpus and you know it's almost a bit too, too clean. But I could tell immediately she didn't have growth on her body, which would have shown us that she's been struggling for quite a while. But then you also see all the life around it, all the fish that are living around it. So I had a look, took a couple of photos before um, actually the guide got in with the knife um, because I thought we need to capture that. This is what our trash does. This is what our discarded nets can do to marine life. We checked that there was um, A, no more nets left, but also no injuries. Um, and once she was free, you can let her go and hopefully she's still swimming today. The conservation story is a really important one. We all know that there's a lot of rubbish in the ocean and it is a threat. Uh, and that turtle would most definitely have died um, uh, staying entangled like that. We need to show it because people care and you give them something that they can use to voice their care. Well, congratulations to you, Simon. It is a really powerful picture, isn't it? Yeah, it shows really that problem that many sea turtles face in our oceans and kind of makes you reconsider some choices you make probably on a day-to-day -day life, and that's the, the embodiment of this category or what we try to achieve, I guess. Absolutely. Next up, of course, is the Hope Award for the Ocean Conservation Photographer of the Year. Nane, tell us more about what this award is all about. So the whole category we introduced because we wanted to celebrate all the positive stories coming from all over the globe. All these stories that last year probably weren't cherished as much because uh, a shocking image is sometimes more impactful than a positive one. So this time we try to change that and also show the positive stories. Well, let's take a look. In third place is Rene Cabazola, someone we know quite well from last year's awards, of course, with three turtles. It's a beautiful image, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you get this amazing formation with the three turtles and a shot from under them, which is, I think is really special. You get to see the sun in the middle. It was shot in Maui on Hawaii, and it tells a story of conservation uh, through the abundance of turtles in one image. Yeah, of course, Rene was uh, the winner of last year's Female 50 Fathoms Award, uh, really kind of well known for her underwater imagery. And so congratulations to you, Rene. In second place, is Andreas Schmidt with a beautiful busy capture of some pink whip rays. There's so much going on here. When we talk about hope, this image really is that, isn't it? This interesting backstory behind it. It was shot in a, um, on a dive site called the Tuna Factory in the Maldives. So all these fish uh, congregate there because the a tuna factory literally dumps fish scraps in the water and they come to feed there. And uh, what the judges loved about this image, that it's just colourful abundance in one, in one image. Perfectly captured. Congratulations to you, Andreas. But the winner of the HOPE Award for the Ocean Conservation Photographer of the Year is Nicholas Remy with this beautifully vibrant, dynamic image, which literally makes you feel like you're there. It's absolutely stunning. It's, it's a great composition and the judges really, really love that it's such an organic and lovely shot. Um, the backstory behind it is that um, these critically endangered grey nurse sharks um, congregate at this site in New South Wales in Australia and without being baited or attracted to this area they just thrive there because people let them thrive and I think that's, that's it's a great image that kind of portrays that nature can bounce back if you just let them. Such a special image, such a great way of capturing that, that thriving and bounce back. So uh, we actually caught up with Nicholas to tell us more about this beautiful capture. I've always been quite interested in wide-angle photography, uh, big animals, uh, scenic reefs. Fish Rock, the very special place where I took this photo, is about five hours drive north of Sydney and that's one of the best places to have interactions with sharks, with white sharks that are not baited. It was in summer 
um, and we were there for five days. The weather was 25, 24 degrees Celsius temperature. However, with the north winds that we had for a few days, they created a bit of a pueling. And within a day, we had the water dropping to 17 degrees. The green nurses, they don't like water being too cold. That means many of them gathered near the shallow entrance of the famous fish rock cave, which is where we positioned ourselves, and this is why we can see such a packed aggregation of the sharks. Greenest shark species we can see in the photo has been declared as critically endangered as per the IUCN list, and that certainly has helped uh, the population bounce a little bit. What I like about this category in the competition is it showcases that spark of hope, and I think this is definitely another way to stimulate the you know, love for the ocean to show also the general public that hey, the ocean is still alive and it can be even more thriving if we just give it a chance to. to imagine capturing you know this critically endangered species like that isn't it yeah such a hopeful shot and really shows the beauty of the ocean and the positive conservation impacts people can have such special feedback for a wonderful capture so congratulations to you simon lorenz 2022's ocean conservation photographer of the year for impact and for nicholas remy hope if you'd like to get a closer look at all of today's finalists or any of this week's finalists, you can, of course, do so at the Oceanographic website. But that's it for today. Please do join us again same time tomorrow to dive into the Ocean Adventure Photographer of the Year. I'll see you then.